M5 stamp is now the smallest ESP32 based board after M5 Atom series and in this video I'll let you know everything about this product like what are its specifications and how to use it with the help of Arduino IDE and in the end we'll be making a very interesting project using this M5 stamp. So stick around with this video and let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now if I tell you one very interesting feature of this software then here in LTM designer you can design rigid flex PCB. Now what is that? So till now you must have designed the PCB which has like rigid like solid PCBs if you are not able to bend. But here in LTM you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid solid and some of the parts are flexible which can bend and the PCB can you know uh, we can bend it in a two-fold manner just like the modern day smartphone right. So this is a really very interesting useful and unique feature of the software well you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description yes by clicking on the link you'll get access to the free trial version of this software so go ahead try out the free trial version of LTM designer software so this is how I received the product now let's just quickly see what are we are getting inside it so this is all you get along with the product and let us focus on actual product and with its first impression, it feels really, really small. Here is the regular ESP32 board for size comparison. Also, this is now the smallest product from M5 family. Here are some of the products which I have from the same company to see the size difference. Now the makers of this product says it has a 5X style. That means it can be interfaced with our project in five different ways. Let me show you those. So these are five different ways. You can directly shoulder it as an SMT component. You can use it as a unit style, which will be compatible with all other M5 Stack product extensions. Then you can add jumper wires directly. And in the end, with the help of the male and female connectors. So this is the very flexible board in terms of interfacing. Now let's try opening the case and see what component it has. So here, as you can see, this board is based on ESP32 Pico D4 chip. So we can expect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth compatibility with 4 MB of flash memory. Also, it has a built-in RGB LED and a programmable push button. Yes, that was the programmable button and not the reset button. So this is the second board which I received that doesn't have reset button. Why? Okay, so now let's close the casing and add sticker on it just to get the pin number reference. And now let's jump onto the computer to see how to use it. So now let's start with programming this M5 stamp module. And for that, I'll be using my ESP32 development board to upload the program onto this stamp module. And you have to make the connection between the ESP32 board and the M5 stamp according to the circuit diagram. Now make sure you make the connection first and after connect the USB cable to your computer and then and then only it will go inside the boot mode. So after doing that, just go to your Arduino IDE, uh, click here, go to preferences, click here and paste this link which will help you to install the ESP32 boards packages on your computer. After this, click on OK, click on OK again and now go to tools, into boards and now into boards manager. Here just search for ESP32 and you just need to click on the install button to install all the ESP32 boards packages onto your Arduino ID. After that just click on close and now we are ready to upload any sample code onto the stamp model. And for that I'll select the sample code as Wi-Fi scan and for that I'll click on files, into examples, into Wi-Fi and then into Wi-Fi scan. Okay so here is the example code, I'll leave this code as it is and straight away select the right board. And this time we have to select the board as M5 Stick C because both M5 Stick C and M5 Stamp has the same chipset which is the ESP32 Pico D4 module. Okay, uh, Select this board and after that you have to select the port on which the ESP32 board is connected. And here I have already selected that particular board and now I'll straight away hit the upload button. Okay, so as you can see the code started uploading onto the stem model that means we have made the connection successfully. And it successfully uploaded as well. Now, as I open up the serial monitor, as you can see, right now I'm not able to see anything onto the serial monitor and we don't have the reset button on this as well. So what you have to do is, first and foremost, you have to remove that connection of GPIO 0 and ground which will take out the stem model from the boot mode. And you have to remove the ground pin and insert the ground pin again into the stem model just to make this board reset. And now as you can see, 
on the serial monitor we are getting the results it is successfully scanning all the nearby wi-fi networks and displaying their SSID name and their rssi value onto the serial monitor that means like the code is successfully uploaded and code is successfully working as well so yeah that was all about how to use m5 stamp module with the help of the arduino id so that's how you can easily use this m5 stamp board as you use your regular esp32 based board now while interfacing this board i got a really interesting project idea like i can make the smallest ever BLE keychain for my smart door lock. Let me show you the project. So here I just attached the battery with the M5 stamp and now this is my smart keychain which can unlock my studio door by just pressing the button on the stamp. How cool is it, right? Now if you're not aware about this project, well, kindly watch out this video in which I have guided all about what is a BLE uh, product and how you can use the ESP32 board as a BLE keychain and I also taught you how to make your own smart door lock. Do watch out that video. Similarly, you can make all those projects that are made using the ESP32 board but with a very, very compact form factor using the M5 stamp. Now comment below like, if you get this M5 stamp with you, what cool projects will you be making using this particular product? Do let me know your project ideas in the comment section of this video. So yeah, that was all about M5 stamp and how to use it. Well, if you really like this small little cute tiny product, well, do click the like button and, and let me tell you, like I too have two extra pieces of this particular product, which I'll soon be giving away to two of my subscribers. Or maybe I can add way more cool gifts and give away to many of you. Like, like I'm planning this giveaway contest and soon I'll be publishing a video for that. So do click the subscribe button and press the bell icon just to get instant notification as soon as I upload that particular contest video, a massive giveaway contest video. And that being said, I'm just ending this video here. Now, just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.